You know, when you experience something um, as hurtful as infidelity, um, I believe that there are um, two ways that you can choose to react to that. One way is the world's way, um, which would be anger and bitterness and um, unforgiveness and um, revenge and things like that. And then there's God's way, which is forgiveness and unconditional love and, um, and grace. And so I had a decision to make um, on how I was going to proceed after this had happened. And I chose um, to follow the Lord and, and trust Him um, with my future. And so during that process, um, He led me through um, the healing process. And there was a lot that I had to learn not easy by any means. The healing process is really tough. Um, and so during that time, um, God showed me um, how to forgive. Um, and I think a lot of the things that he taught me and that I learned from him during this time brought me closer to him because I really understood the concept of um, forgiveness. And not that like I've ever understood before, I think. Um, you know, when you have to forgive someone, if the cost is little, then it's easier to forgive. If you have a, an, an old beat up car that has dents and dings and scratches on it and someone backs into it and they say, I'm so sorry, it's easy to forgive. Yeah, no problem, you backed into it. You have an expensive sports car that's pristine and someone backs into it, the cost is greater and it's harder to forgive. And so um, I learned that firsthand, um, how to choose to forgive and then kind of walk through that over time, um, knowing that, um, you know, God forgave me for everything that I've done, and I don't deserve that. And so learning to understand the concept of forgiveness um, was, was an interesting uh, part of my journey. Um, showing grace, um, unconditional love um, to others, um, that's another part that I learned during this process as well. Also going from being married to um, being now a single mom, I mean, that takes on a lot of things that you have to learn. Um, and when I was married, I had a lot of security in my husband. Um, he was the provider for the most part. Um, and I think, you know, I think both of us had expectations for the other person that were not realistic and that were expectations that only God can, can meet. And so um, I learned through the process that God is my provider. He is my counselor. He is my healer. He is my strength, he's my comfort, he's my security. And so a lot of the things that I had to deal with, um, maintaining a household by myself now and being a single mom, um, God walked me through a lot of that stuff, just learning how to do that and how to trust in him and put him first, um, that he can meet all those needs for me. That um, I think before that I was looking for um, a human to meet. Um, and that wasn't, that's not realistic and that wasn't fair to him that I was putting a lot of those expectations on him. So. Um, I think that's, it was a very hard journey walking through that, years in fact, um, that I had to go through learning stuff, but um, I noticed every time something hard came along that I had to learn something, I was like, okay, Lord, what are you going to teach me in this? And he definitely did. I mean, he definitely taught me little things along the way, and I think it's just grown my faith, um, grown my relationship with him, um, and helped that healing process come along much, much easier. <laughs>